guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys, welcome to 30 and 30, day six. We are um, going to do one more painting on this pair of pages. I have, as usual, my plate, which I need to clean. Um, a watercolor palette, a couple of white pens, some brushes, some water, and my one of my inspiration books on the table. Um, the page that I've turned to has a number of di different abstract images and a primarily orange and red colorway um, on the two pair of pages. And I really like to Besides experimenting with composition and getting back into the habit of doing something like watercoloring if you haven't done it for a while or ever, the other thing that's fun to do with these little quick paintings is just to see some days how colors will blend together and um, using different colors and different brushes and splatters or whatever to see um, what your colors will do together in an abstract form. So that's what we're going to do today. As usual, we're going to start with our half inch flat. And I'm going to start with actually the buff titanium. I'm going to put it directly on the page. I'm going to rinse my brush off and add some water. Now the water soluble paints are um, really easy. They're going to go wherever you put the water. That's where they're going to want to go. If the paper is dry, they're not going to go there if there's water somewhere else. Um, so I'm going to just put on the color. Look what, look at how it's reacting where it's wet and it's not where it's dry. Then I'm going to go back in again, cleaned off my brush. Well, as much as I can and how dirty my water is. And I'm going to move some of it around or a lot of it around. It's going to get a little bit muddy, the color, although this is a bright color, this Indian yellow, because it's gonna mix with the buff titanium, which is a very muted, sort of grayed out, muddy color. Right, and again, like I did before, uh, in a pri prior video, you can take your rag and you can just sort of, if you've gotten too much on there, you won't, I'm just tapping it lightly. You won't get it all off, but you'll get some, that's fine. Um, you can do it with paper towel. I like to use rags and something that I can uh, reuse. I probably should have the water over here so it's I'm not constantly doing that in front of the camera. Okay. Um, all right, so then we're gonna go in with, what color are we gonna go in with? That's a good question. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with I think I'm going to mix, oh, I'm going to mix our Indian yellow with a little bit of, ooh, well, let's try that. Um, I just put NAP maroon. <laughs> I'll put the uh, name in the description, Napthal maroon, or I don't remember now what it's abbreviated from. That's the problem with doing abbreviations sometimes on the paint colors. Anyway, it's a maroon color. I'm going to mix it with a yellow and get sort of a, a kind of an orangey brown. Because that red, the maroon color is kind of a brown, brownish red. And as before, I'm going to take my rag. Plot it where I think I've got too much. Add some back where I think I didn't leave enough. I'm going to... Oh, wait. Um, let's grab our chalkboard and do that. Okay. We're going to give it a dry. Okay, I'm going to take a smaller brush. And I'm going to go in with the Quinacridone Magenta. 
I'm just gonna kind of paint or highlight some shapes that I already see on the painting that are forming on the painting. I'm not going to get too far again before I go in with the water. Preserving one edge sharply and blurring out the other edge. Why is it looking like berries to me? I must have food on the brain or something. It's too much pigment right there. You can also, of course, just tilt it and let things drip where they may, which is sometimes really fun to do. So I am, yeah, I'm definitely seeing berries. I don't know why I'm seeing berries, but yeah. I keep trying to go back over there with the paint, have you noticed? Okay, we're gonna dry that. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some ultramarine turquoise, which may just look as a really dark color on here with all the other colors that are in the background, but we'll see. And I'm gonna just, I think, refine some of these berry shapes. And put a little bit of it and then again, water. I'm actually going to go, let's go with a bigger brush. I had no, absolutely no plan to paint berries when we started this painting. I did not know that that was where this was going to go. But sometimes your art, uh, as in life, has its own idea of where you're going to go with something. And doesn't really care what you think. <laughs> this is one of those instances I like where it's going. I just am surprised. sort of look like grapes, don't they? Again, very surprised. Okay, so um, let's give that a dry before we do anything else. Okay, I'm gonna add some of my favorite green, which is undersea green. I think in some spots I'm going to add a little bit of permanent yellow green. Again, that was abbreviated, so I had to think about it for a minute and decide what color it was that I meant to write on there. So undersea green. So again, we're suggesting foliage, right? If they are berries, there would be foliage back there somewhere. So the undersea green would be the dark part and the 
permanent yellow green would be the highlight part, the part that's getting hit by the sun, right? And again, it doesn't hurt if you get too much pigment on there. If, long, if you do it right away while it's wet, you can go in and you can lift some of it up. I really like the way that's where that's going. I think we're gonna take our way out pen. I constantly am without scratch paper. How is that possible? I'll use the back of this business card. Okay, so I'm gonna just actually going to take a small scrubber brush from my stash of acrylic brushes. And if the whiteout pen is still wet, it'll move it around. If it's not, it's going to scrub the pigment around. This is, if you're going to work with whiteout pen with your watercolor, this is a better choice of a brush to have on hand so you don't mess up your acrylic brushes. I mean your watercolor brushes. And I'll tell you what kind of brush this is in just a minute. I didn't mean to do that. So let's blend that out a little bit and lift it. Okay. So this is a um, Creative Mark um, FX Effects brush number nine. Um, but any short any brush with a short, like, scrubby end will work, like a stippling brush. I'm going to just leave that out. All right, so that's our painting for today. I am happy about where it went, but very surprised. So let's take the tape off. And there you go. Day six of 30 paintings in 30 days. I hope you enjoyed that process. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do leave them down below. That's it for today. See you later. Bye, How guys. How's that for today's painting? I hope you enjoyed the process. And um, if you want instruction on the painting, you need to be over on Patreon. They are going to get the talking version here on YouTube. You're just going to get the speed food through version. Sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.